Okay, so apologies for the audio. I'm just using a uh, Rode mic attached to the GoPro, so the audio should be not too bad, but not going to be great, great. But anyway, I just wanted to show, before I start shooting it and get it all messed up, I wanted to show this beautiful new Target from TA Targets, because that is the purpose of today's video. So this is another great reaction Target from the folks at TA Targets. It's got this A-Zone paddle that is the place you want to hit, and when you do, it's going to react. It's going to flap. So it gives you some nice feedback. The whole target is AR550, which is awesome material, and it is built to the, the impeccable standards of the folks at TA Targets. It, it's really beautiful. I almost hate to, to hit it with bullets, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with bullets. All right, so time to attack this beautiful target and mess up the pretty paint job. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the range. It's been a little while. Um, I'm really happy to be at the range on a beautiful day, as I always am on any beautiful day. Got a couple fun things to take a look at today and thought you would want to come along with me. First of all, and the main focus of today's video is this new TA Targets target that you see downrange at about 12 yards. And it is just another little piece of beauty <laughs> to come from the folks at TA Targets. Um, so an extra bit of challenge, certainly. And I'm going to initially take that challenge with the new Ruger Max 9. I've just been working with the Ruger Max 9 on a full review and that may or may not be out by the time you watch this. I don't know when things will, will happen in that respect, but that's going to be on Guns America. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, why is he not telling us a whole lot more about the Max 9? Well, because that's on Guns America. Go look for that over there or follow me on Facebook and I'll definitely post links over there. That said, I did most of my Guns America review work with an optic attached, the uh, Crimson Trace optic attached to the Ruger. I'm going to do today's work with just the open sights that it comes with, which are, by the way, very good sights. All right, so before I get started destroying this beautiful target, well, not destroying, but making it less pretty, there's a little bit of scale, just so you guys understand how small it really is, and especially when you get back you know, about 12 yards or so. So as I said, that target is about 12 yards down range. It is uh, a challenge. It's a bit of a challenge. So let's see how we can do with this tiny little Ruger with just its open sights. And uh, I'll let you see whether I do good or whether I do bad. All right. <laughs> That's a good way to start. I think I went 10 for 10, and that's pretty good. All right, so the first 10 found their home in the A zone, which is where they belong. Let me see now if I can get a little bit frisky <laughs> and uh, shoot a tiny bit faster. All right, looks like I dropped a couple of them low. I tend to do that from time to time, but uh, the little thing does dance, doesn't it? It's got a nice ring. It has a nice ring to it. Hey, 
Hey, before I get back to it, I just want to say quickly, this video is not sponsored, but that target was provided to the channel by TA Targets. They have been a great friend to the channel, and I appreciate that a lot, and I really do love their products. And as I've said before, I don't use their products because they asked me to. They send them to me because I begged for them. Speaking of this video not being sponsored, it is not sponsored by anybody. It's also not able to be monetized on YouTube. The current status of my channel on YouTube is demonetized. I am not able to monetize any of my videos. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that changed. I'm going to try. I have to wait at least 30 days before I can even appeal to them to reevaluate my channel and see if I am worthy of monetization like I have been for years and years. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what the status is there. I very well may look into some sponsorship opportunities, but there's, you know, there's tricky bits about that too, so I have to be a little bit careful and thoughtful. Um, so I will be looking at those options. Um, but right now, I want to thank the amazing folks that are my patrons on Patreon, because right now this video is being brought to you exclusively by the good people that are supporting my channel on Patreon. So this is that awkward part of the video where I say, hey, if you'd like to help out the channel, you can go to Patreon and become a patron. I really hate doing that. I mean, it feels, it feels to me like I'm panhandling. And, and it shouldn't, because at the end of the day, I do also truly feel like I'm giving you something of value, I hope. Uh, if you're watching this video, you watch my other videos, and you do get any kind of value, whether it's just entertainment or maybe you get some good information or hopefully a little bit of both, then if that value has value to you, <laughs> you know, you could throw a dollar uh, toward the channel. And I would appreciate it because it allows me to continue bringing the content to you. Enough about that. Let's get back to shooting. I'm shooting steel case ammo, by the way. This is Tula 115 grain ball ammo because it's what I could get. So a uh, comment or two about the gun. This little Max 9 is a very nice pistol. So if you want, if you want my bottom line on it, that is the bottom line. I'm also really digging this sight picture. It comes with a great set of standard sights in a perfect configuration of blacked out rear, fiber optic front with a tritium circle, and it's just an excellent sight picture. And just to put it in perspective uh, scale wise, the front sight of this target is about the same width at this distance to my eye as the A-zone on that target. And it takes up, you know, maybe more than half the height of it. So that's the sight picture, and it's been working out pretty good. That's a fun little target. I'm digging it. That is going to be a regular here on the channel. So you know I have a discount code for TA Targets. If you look down below, you can find that someplace and you can save yourself 10%. 10% is nothing at which to sneeze when it comes to spending money on steel targets. And when it comes to spending money on steel targets, spend it wisely. And it doesn't get any better than TA targets. This little Ruger, by the way, <laughs> is a nice little gun. It is very, very small and very, very light, but 
it's easy to manage the recoil and it's easy to shoot it well. I feel like I shoot this gun pretty darn well. It's got a nice trigger, great ergonomics, and beautiful sights as I said. And of course it is optics ready. That is pretty sweet. I like that target. I like the feedback that you get. And it actually has a very nice sound. All right, I've got a little bit of ammo left. Might as well use it up. And again, if you want to know my full thoughts and see a full video on the review of the Max 9 from Ruger, look for that on Guns America. And if you follow the Justin Opinion channel on Facebook, you'll see a link for that the minute it comes out, I promise. The uh, slide release is starting to break in a little bit. I know there's always the debate, is it a slide stop or a slide release? Well. I like them to be both, and if they don't do both things, then it takes away points for me. Uh, the Ruger was pretty tough initially, but it is starting to, uh, to wear in. So I am able to release the slide now with just my shooting thumb, which is a good thing. All right, let me see if I can hit the A zone of that target with just one hand. Whoop, let me get back into the picture here. All right, let me see if I can hit the A zone of this target with just one hand. I can, <laughs> but I limp wristed it. Let's try that again. I'm trying to learn the difference in the sound. There is a difference. I think that really bright sounding ring is when I hit the, uh, the outside target. No ring at all is when you completely miss the target. That is a sound I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, she's breaking in nice as far as the slide stop slide release goes, so I'm happy about that. When I did the uh, original range work for the Guns America review, I couldn't do that with one hand. That was tough. You know, big question I'm thinking about now is uh, I'm going to have to repaint that target after today and uh, trying to decide on a color scheme. Hmm. What do you guys think? All right, I'm down to my last 20 rounds of ammo. That's 10 in each magazine. Man, I got some crazy math skills, don't I? So let's burn them up and get out of here. You've probably got things to do, and I probably have things to do. It's that time of year now where the grass needs to be cut just about every other day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support over the years. And even if you can't support in any other way, if you would hit that like button, I would really appreciate that. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, even if you never watch, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> the more subscribers I can get, <laughs> the more it helps me have at least a little bit of a voice when I have to deal with the folks at YouTube. 
if I could get to 100,000 subscribers, which I know I can't do anytime real soon, but then at least I would have access to someone. Until you have 100,000, you're nobody. <laughs> so that's where I am. <laughs> nobody land. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks, as always, to my amazing Patreon patrons. You guys rock. And if it weren't for you, this video would not exist. Have a great day, everybody. Save the worst for last, that's it, right? And on that note, I'm out of here.